This is crazy. I had no idea. So there's a good chance you didn't either. And if you live in any of these 10 states and the District of Columbia, then beware. States that have laws that allow for what many call home equity theft include Alabama, Arizona, Colorado, Illinois, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, New Jersey, Oregon, and South Dakota. When I started doing some research and going down this rabbit hole, I actually found out about a lady in Arizona that was on the verge of losing her life savings, being all the equity in her house for a $1,607.68 property tax bill. You'd think that it would be the case that the government would sell a property, take what's theirs, plus whatever fees that they actually incurred, and then give the rest back, right? Well, that common sense thinking is wrong. But more than that, and a Supreme Court ruling in just a couple seconds. My name's Jeff Chubb, and I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then know I'm here to help. Okay. Arizona is one of almost a dozen states that allow creditors to keep all the proceeds from sales of homes for close due to unpaid taxes, known as tax lien sales. But here's what I found even more crazy. Actually, in 2022, the Supreme Court ruled that Minnesota's practice of keeping all the proceeds for a tax sale constitutes as illegal seizure of property. John Roberts wrote in the unanimous decision, the taxpayer must render to Caesar what is Caesar's, but no more. But under current law in those states that I mentioned earlier, there are no means of returning the excess proceeds of a home sale. This is essentially home equity theft, in my opinion. The process of all this is even more crazy in that these states basically are ignoring the Supreme Court decision. The process basically goes like this. The treasurer places a lien on a property for taxes owed. These financial claims are then sold in an online auction. In this auction, buyers bid the lowest interest rate they intend to charge property owners to redeem their lien with bidding beginning at 16%. And the lowest bid, that's the bid that wins. Now, it's important to know that purchasing a tax lien doesn't transfer ownership of the property. In most states, Massachusetts included, a property owner has three years to pay back the taxes, which includes fees as well as interest. If it's not redeemed within that time, then the lien holder may foreclose and actually sell the property. And should the tax lien be unsold, in other words, a private investor does not purchase during that online auction, then the lien is actually turned over to the state. Now, the state has the same right to foreclose, but they must return any excess proceeds to the former property owner. So who is buying these tax liens? Well, they are popular with banks, investment firms, and other financial institutions due to them being seen as, well, relatively secure investments. It's a great deal. Get essentially a guaranteed return with penalties and accrued interest the longer the debt isn't paid all while having the possibility of an enormous payoff should the owner actually not be able to satisfy the tax lien. This isn't right and something really should be done about it. Again, it's Jeffrey Chubb. Please let me know if you have any questions and if I can help in any way. Whether you're looking to buy or sell a property here in Massachusetts or well, anywhere else in the country, then it would be a true pleasure to have a conversation with you and just help you wherever I can. You can visit us at youtuberealestateagent.com, fill in your information, we'll reach out to you, or all of our contact information, it's in the description below, right down there. Until next time.